Welcome, welcome. This video is to show a haul that I had recently. I visited a family member and my aunt was kind enough to gather some things for me to take back home with me uh, with regards to crafting. And so she gave me this really pretty little piece of fabric. And there's not enough there to make a cover, but definitely maybe some pockets or ruffles. Really pretty little flowers. And these are all antique laces that she had. And she says some of the things had been uh, taken from like a petticoat or pillowcases. This was probably a pillowcase. Uh, but look at the the patina on that uh, and just it would be so difficult to get that quality of uh, you know that vintage look doing it with tea or <laughs> so this is the natural aging process so it's probably hand done this piece looked like it was a pillowcase edge as well even though the pillowcases didn't survive the lace did and I'm so glad for it because I'll definitely be able to use these beautiful pieces uh, on uh, something that I make. So pretty. They're not all the same, a little bit different. You don't, you don't see lace on, on uh, pillows anymore. <laughs> this is pretty too. is a bit a uh, bit of a darker lace beautiful it's it's so hard to um, find the right project sometimes to use these pieces of uh, history you know that some um, that someone has collected for you and that you know is from a family member it's sort of that extra extra special history so those are some beautiful things and she also gave me a whole box of little beads and uh, get these little cute beads and we'll, you know stick on these little glitter beads these beautiful little things here all kinds of little ones here very nice and all this jewelry and the pieces are all in really good shape so I, I felt kind of bad taking them you know because usually you would take things that are in disrepair and then use those but uh, look at this beautiful chain the medallion I will mention this is something very special. This was a, a little necklace that was given to her by my grandmother. So there's some little beads and a big uh, shell type medallion there. Look at these little earrings, aren't they cute? <laughs> I thought this was really pretty. She said this was a piece of her jewelry. You can hear it's like a wind chime. Beautifully kind of aged, you know. And there's of course the little little matching earrings. And here's a couple of little pins, but they're so those would be nice on the front of a closure of a journal cover it's funny when you look at these things and you're just like your mind starts flying around with all the possibilities uh, of things that you could make <laughs> then you have to decide on what you will make there's another necklace with some pretty sparkly chain here's some leaf that would be great on a tassel 
I looked at these, I thought, oh gosh, these are so kind of 1990s, a uh, little bit of bling and so cute. These look like maybe someone had made them. The little sparkly beads. Look at those uh, sparkles. There's another nicely made uh, necklace. Some little leaf earrings. Get this pretty, uh, pretty necklace. She said, "Just take take this whole little collection." So, as I was going through it piece by piece, she said, "Oh, just take it all." <laughs> little angel fish. What a beautiful little piece that is. You could build a whole, uh, you could build a whole journal around these little pieces. It's another bracelet. Look at these beautiful earrings and of course these you know all you would do is turn the ear part of it with your round nose pliers and just make it into a circle to attach to something that's easy enough to do some more dangly danglies magnetized beads here. That's kind of unique. A couple of rings. More bracelets and a bit of a tangle there. A few more lovely things. So thank you Aunt Sylvia very much for these beautiful things. I can't wait to start using them. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.